What's up guys, this is Daniel and welcome to episode 2 of this FIFA 13 manager mode. As you guys can see, I got some sweet thumbnails done by Mr. Sambuca Man himself. Um, go check him out, he's a really nice guy and he also does manager mode with I think Burnley, um, if I'm not mistaken. So go check that out, tell him that Dan's clan sent you. I couldn't wait to say that again, but there we go. But guys, let's talk about less, last episode. Um, I made a huge stupid mistake. Um, for some reason my head didn't register sterlings with pounds and um, I was stupid and I chose Euro. Um, I know a lot of you will probably say, you stupid retard American, you don't know anything. Um, I do know that UK uses pounds, just for some reason I made a stupid mistake and just a big brain fart on my part. Um, so I just ask for you guys' forgiveness in that. Second thing, you guys said that FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 also had the name of stadium. Um, I did not know that, so thank you guys for pointing that out too. And third, at the end of the episode, I did ask if you guys wanted a more in-depth or a more game oriented, um, just kind of straight to the point manager mode. And I'm to my happiness, you guys said yes, do a more in depth. And that's what I kind of want it to be in. I don't know if this will spark some talk in the comments or amongst yourselves, but um, I think that at the end of the season, I will be seriously considering any offers that I have for uh, from other football clubs. I think it'll make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so I kind of want to make this more of a story mode of my myself as a manager so if I can move up in the football world um, maybe I don't make it to the Premier League but I get an offer to uh, be a manager in the Premier League I might take that so um, let me know what you guys think about that I think it might you know spark some interest in the end of the season that I could actually be moving away from the club that I've been trying to build up so um, anyways let's get started with this episode so last episode we left off introducing the squad, now kind of more into the manager's side, Antonio Sensalvini is my uh, agent, or my the manager to the manager I guess you could say, basically congratulating me on the Watford job saying he'll keep an eye out for any national teams that want to pursue me, and if I do better with Watford, I'll get more national team offers, kind of um, self-explanatory there, but I wanted to show you guys the league of objectives for my team. Um, first off, it's finished mid-table, so doing some quick math in my head, I think that's around 16th, in between 16th and 8th place. Also, the domestic cup objective to reach the round of 16, which I have pretty much a lot of confidence that I am able to do these things. So, here is a new feature in FIFA 13 manager mode that I absolutely love. As you can see here, um, you can enter an amount to be compensated if you kind of tweak your league and your cup objectives. So as you see here, obviously I just stated I have finished mid-table and reached a round of 16. So the choices for me is to achieve a high finish or fight for promotion. Um, and I can request an amount of funds to be compensated if I actually achieve these things. But I'm committing to these things. So also the cup um, objective reach the quarterfinal reach the semifinal now this is a little bit risky on the cup side because you could get a bad draw and um, without looking I haven't looked at my draws yet to be honest and without looking at those I don't want to tweak those but I will kind of put a bid in just because I'm interested to see what they will come back with I asked for three million pounds to fight for promotion because I am confident that I can do that I've done that in the past two years in FIFA games so you know what as a manager I'm confident I put hand to pin, I sign it, and they come right back and say, we reviewed your request, but at this moment we do not feel uh, we have seen enough of you at this club, basically. So that's to be expected, as I've done absolutely nothing with this club. So maybe around January transfer window, I'm going to put in the same bid, um, depending on where I sit in the tables, and I can uh, acquire some more transfers transfer funds. So that's a good segue to look at my transfer budget, um, 2.6 million pounds, about 10 million, or 10,000 pounds in wages um, at a budget split of 8317 that's just to give you guys an idea of where I sit um, but let's move on to how much my players cost I'm gonna sort these right here um, Cassetti is gonna be retiring at the contract end, as you saw that um, going back here Bennett uh, I will actually have three players loaned out for, for the full season also have four players as low knees for the full season Poodle, Wujan Jibia, Bellic, and Anya are all low knees so um, I might be looking, depending on how they do this season, um, I might be looking to sign them to a permanent contract, especially Anya and Mujan Jibia and Poodle. Well, basically all of them because they're actually decent players, but here we go. I now sorted them by the highest price, Abdi with 2.1 million, Hog 1.6 million. On down the line here, as I just quickly scroll through, if you guys want to pause at any moment to see basically how much they cost, I wanted to give you guys kind of a reference if you wanted to look. Um, James Bond is <laughs> my backup goalkeeper. That's pretty sweet. I might as well keep him on the team. Anyways, um, so Cassetti and probably 
Almunia will be retiring at contract in, I would guess. But there's one player that stands out to me, as you see him right here, Chris Iwalumo. Um, just not going to do anything on my squad. He has like three pace. My great grandma is probably a little bit younger than him. But, anyways, cool new feature from FIFA 13. They say the veteran Iwalumo is listed. They also give maybe why I listed him. Obviously, he's old. But they say where he could possibly go. The striker from Scotland will probably be prepared to drop down a division. Um, that's pretty cool that they took in the t they took the time to kind of tell you where they think the player is going to go. But anyways, also, breaking news from around the league. This will be awesome for this series because I can keep you guys... I just stuttered there. <laughs> I can keep you guys up to date on what's going on around the league, especially the Premier League, which I'm looking to be promoted into. But anyways, guys, let's get involved in some transfer time. Um... Now, as I mentioned last episode briefly, I kind of am looking for a new keeper as Almunia is old and he will probably be retiring. If not, um, you know, he's probably not going to be worth his weight and age, I guess you can say. <laughs> but anyways, so here are some players that I'm looking at. Now, this one is just off the top of my head because I love this guy in FIFA 12. Marvel win from the MLS, Colorado Rapids. <laughs> you all know his pace, his strength. He is a great center back, and he doesn't cost that much at all. He's only 26 years old. But um, I want to know what you guys think about this before I take a stab at him. But let's take, uh, you know, let's dive a little bit deeper to try to find some diamonds in the rough. So what I go ahead and do right here, I'm going to take a look for a keeper. So I obviously switched the position and the role to goalkeeper. But I put a max estimated worth at 1 million pounds. And then I put the search criteria. You can't see it right here, but I did. From age 17 to 21 to just kind of see if there's any, like I said, diamonds in the rough. Anybody that really stands out with their stats. Um, here we go, a 21 age keeper, 71 overall with decent stats. Probably matching that of Almunia, but um, I'm not going to take a stab at this guy yet. I kind of scroll through right here. I kind of messed up, but anyways, I scroll through with the right stick to try to see if there's any, you know, green stats or anybody that really stands out. And, um, you know, no one did stand out to me. <laughs> so I go ahead and um, kind of switch that off. I want to see if you guys have any you know, suggestions for any goalkeepers that I could possibly sign with my transfer budget. But here we go. I take a look at strikers age 17 to 21 to once again look to see if anybody stands out. So I take a look at this first guy's stats. Pretty good to be honest. I start scrolling down and all of a sudden my eyes go Bleh! I look at this guy. I move Ezekiel. I kind of scroll down there on accident. But I take a look at him. 18 years old. 1 million pounds. 3,000 wage. Um, <laughs> look at this guy's stats. So I want to scroll over to finishing, you know, if it's anything below 60, I'm not going to take a look, but it's 69 and this guy is only 18 years old. Now you could say that this is pace whoring, three star skills as you see, also a speedster trait, speedster trait. But um, you know what? How can you find a player this cheap, this young and that kind of stats already in his career and you wouldn't want to put a bid into in for him. So what I'm going to do is approach standard Liège to buy. Um now this is also pretty cool. This is what I've wanted my whole life. I've done career mode on FIFA. I've always wanted this. You can add a player to to um, for a transfer. So what made me upset about FIFA 12 is I'd see a striker and I'd offer people and they would say, you know, this is my only player. This is my only striker. Well, now I can offer a striker to them so that they won't be down a striker and up money. So basically I go to Joe Garner. I'm probably not going to use him in the future. Now I did get rid of Iwa Lumo. Um, but I'm going to get rid of Garner here. I actually see that I put up 7 million pounds here. So I quickly changed that in order not to go um, in depth <laughs> already through the season. I put 700,000 and Garner's worth was around 400,000. So, um, you know, that's that's around the million that they want. So I go ahead and I advance here um, through time. As you see, um, Manchester City's Tevez link to enter. There's some news for you guys. I advance a little bit more get a reply back from standard Liège. they say no we that is that transfer offer is just unacceptable we're gonna want 1.19 million plus garner and that's kind of steep but at the same time i'm not going to use garner um, i'm looking to sign a stud i don't want to spend a lot of money before um january transfer window because i want to kind of play with who i have right now the true watford side to see um how they'll fare against you know the first half of the season so anyways I go ahead and I up that bid to 950,000 and right after that I get a transfer offer for Iwa Lumo um, now this is from Ipswich Town they offer 150,000 pounds his worth is around 190,000 um, so just being me 
trying to be a penny pusher, um, penny pincher, penny pusher, yeah, penny pincher, um, I raised that up to 170,000 pounds, just to see what they say, progressing here a little bit more, as you see, I have a, um, friendly match with Spurs coming up in the next few days. Standard Liege says, no, we want 1.19. They didn't even lower that at all. So what I'm going to do, guys, and you know what, you'll get the answer next episode um, of whether this player did accept or not. Um, it would be a huge signing for me. I go ahead and up that up to 1.1 million pounds and Garner. That's the highest I'm going to go because I am a penny pincher. And um, Ipswich Town comes back and says 150,000. That's the best we can do for this old fart. What are you going to do? I hit accept. See you later. You will not be missed. Good riddance. Um, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but you are slow and old. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode will feature, obviously, that game against the Spurs. Probably another friendly match. The answer to Ezekiel's response from Standard Liège. Will the 18-year-old Nigerian prodigy take a stab at joining the Watford side to help me fight for promotion? If you guys have any, any suggestions, any comments, any complaints about this video, I'd love to hear them. I read every single comment, and I appreciate so much the support on episode 1, guys. Over a thousand likes. That truly means a lot to me. I'm especially after right after coming back from a huge break. Um, you guys' support is amazing. So I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow with that new episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.